Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Olivia. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Calico, Calico Adventures. Adventures. <laughs> Why'd you point? Why did you point? On a stormy, blustery, wintry spring weekend in April, we headed up to one of our favorite places to spend time, Duluth, Minnesota, and the North Shore of Lake Superior. The three of us, including Tina Tuna, started our trip with warm, sunny weather. Tina had her own vacation with Olivia's parents, where she was pampered with attention, lazed around on various surfaces, and dreamed of going outside. At my parents' house, the temperature was seasonably in the 50s, and the sun made everything warmer. We enjoyed the weather while we could, knowing what was to come. We've been here before. Last time we were here, there were masks on. It's very cold and windy today. We're most excited about that, but um, you know, gotta go through the actual aquarium first. like a great day to uh, kayak. Look at that. It's hard to see because the rain's right on this window. But... Yeah. Look. Right at the bridge. See that roll? Here they come. It's just rolling in. Me too, seahorse. Me too. <laughs> Dive suit on loan from a Lee Selinski. Selisky. Selisky? Probably. I cannot pronounce things. <laughs> the sturgeon touch pool. Sturgeon over there. What a cutie. Oh, you have a friend. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's like slimy. <laughs> well, yeah, they're, they're, they are fish. <laughs> And here we have some piranhas. This guy is massive. Hey Jeff. Hmm. What's your favorite part about the aquarium? Going to Red Lobster afterwards. <laughs> Help my jacket. Since you're the shorter one, what's your wingspan? Move it over. The one's over here. The one is over. Oh. There you go. There you go. About 64 inches. How much is yours? Probably 70. Okay, turkey vulture. <laughs> Could be. One. No. 
a little bit farther this way. There you go. What do you think? That is going to be 69. Okay, you moved it over to 70, but it's 69. 69. Nice. 69. <laughs> nice. And here we have a uh, replica of the famous lift bridge, the aerial lift bridge, which we'll, we will be uh, definitely showing later. This is important to know. This is important. So as of this morning, at 2.30 in the morning, uh, Duluth broke the record for the snowiest season, which is 135.8 inches. While not the best weather for a vacation, Duluth provided us with some incredible sights. Our next stop at Glensheen Mansion is located just north of Duluth on London Road, which is also known as the Voyager Highway or the North Shore Scenic Highway. Since the pandemic, the mansion provides self-guided tours and the helpful use of an app to provide details about the mansion. While there's no recording allowed in the building, I took many photos. Glenshee Mansion was completed in 1908 by Chester and Clara Congdon, who moved to the area to pursue iron mining. They had six children, some of whom were adults by the time the mansion was completed. Glensheen has 39 rooms, is 27,000 square feet, and cost, at the time, $854,000. Glenshine is built on 22 acres of land and includes the largest private pier on the lake. There is a diverted creek flowing through the property and there are many areas to admire the beauty that Lake Superior provides. There are many state parks within a couple hours drive from Duluth, and one of our favorites is Jay Cook State Park. We last stayed here in the calm, warm park in the summer of 2019. The mid-spring of 2023 had a completely different situation. This is called the swing bridge, and it does swing a little bit. Oh, yep, it's bouncing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That'll give you vertigo. not as wild get a lot of people playing in the water up here One of the most iconic landmarks in Duluth is the Aerial Lift Bridge. The bridge connects the mainland with Minnesota Point, a long, narrow island. The bridge is also the entrance to Duluth Harbor for ships coming in from Lake Superior. I was lucky enough to catch this bridge in action one evening as a cargo ship from Canada was coming through.
Driving over the lift bridge and out to Minnesota Point, we get to enjoy some sandy beaches and an ocean-like view. Standing out here, we couldn't help but think of the hundreds of shipwrecks that Lake Superior has claimed over the years, many of which are notable, like the Edmund Fitzgerald. Duluth is one of our favorite places to come visit. It's a gateway to the extreme North Shore and forest country, and it is a great place to visit for food, experiences, local brews, and more. We try to come up at least once every couple years, and every time we enjoy ourselves, even if the weather is bad. Visiting Duluth was fun, but heading home with Tina Tuna was even more fun. Check out our social media and our coffee to follow along and support us. We leave you this week with scenes from the rocky shores of Lake Superior.